What's up? It's your girl Kay Jones here coming at you with another video. Uh, today's video is going to be a review on my Daniels Jewelry Inc. Miami Cuban link that I got. 24 karat gold, solid piece. I'm going to go ahead and say um, the specs right off the bat because like that's the first thing people ask. It's an 8 millimeter, 142 grams, 20 inch, 24 karat solid gold piece. Um, if y'all watch my channel, y'all will know that I bought a 10 karat Miami Cuban solid gold piece from them about four years ago and a pendant. And I just want to say right off the bat that this video is not sponsored. It's just an honest review. And uh, so I wore my 10 karat gold uh, Miami Cuban, which there's so many videos on my channel about that. Like, um, you know, I did update videos after two years of wearing it, three years, things like that. And you can check that out. And I just loved it so much. Um, I had a, the regular lock on it and then I had the sleek lock and I absolutely loved the sleek lock. So I, I went ahead and got that on this uh, 24 karat piece. Um, so yeah, I'm all about that sleek lock. Um, but yeah, and I just absolutely loved it. I couldn't even sell it because it like became a part of me, you know, super sentimental. And so I passed it down to my brother and seeing him wear it, it's just awesome. And it's still holding up like a charm. 10 karat gold is so solid and um, really strong. So, cause of all the alloys. And before I get into this, I just want to say that, you know, wear what you like and love. It doesn't matter what others people think, what others think, you know, if, whether that's silver, brass, 10 karat, 14 karat, it doesn't matter. And um, as long as you love it, that's all that matters. And, you know, lastly, don't ever spend money that you don't have. If you're in debt, focus on paying the debt. If, <laughs> if you don't have savings, focus on getting savings because you don't want to ever spend money if you don't have it, right? So don't go crazy, stay within your budget, right? And then some people just aren't in safe areas where they can wear certain kind of jewelry, you know, it's just not safe. So be careful about that. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and show some videos uh, and also some photographs of the Sleek Lock close up. I'm also gonna show uh, Daniel's Jewelry Inc. I think it was David or maybe one of his employees. Basically took a video of the chain and tested it on the XRF uh, gun to show that it is solid 24 karat gold. Um, you know, I always like to get it tested and things like that. So I'll show that below and I hope you all enjoy. And only D go double G. No, no, no. Da, 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 da. You know what happened with the D R E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the West Coast is back for all you sucker. Whoa. sucker. All right, so I hope y'all really liked that. Um, on my channel, I also have a video, Can You Wear 24 Karat Jewelry? I've been wearing these day and night. I don't take them off unless I work out, and it's been working great, so that's why I got the 24 karat chain. So check out that video if you want more information after this one. So what's my review? Absolutely love it. It's just like the same quality and beauty as my 10 karat chain, except in 24 karat gold. I've actually been wearing this for like three days already. So I've already been to the gym. I've slept in it three nights and you know, it's not got that fresh, clean polish. You know, it's got my dead skin cells and sweat on it. But honestly, I prefer it that way because when it's freshly polished, like the, the links stick together more and like it just feels sticky, you know? So I like it worn in and it just feels good, you know? So, but you'll see in the videos that you saw, it's gonna have a brighter color and that fresh polish and everything like that. And, uh, so yeah, like they did incredible craftsmanship and what amazed me most was their customer service. Like craftsmanship comes first, you're paying a ton of money for a product, but Daniel Jewelry Inc. always got you on craftsmanship. If you ever have a problem with your order and they're liable for it, call them up, they will fix it. They will take care of you. They care, I think, about customer satisfaction more than anything and that maybe people disagree with me but i'll go into why i think that is the case so four years ago their customer service was good it wasn't bad it was all about business like getting it done get, get getting your order getting what you want knowing exactly what you want getting your order in but 
you know, lately it's been more about, you know, not just giving you a good experience on top of that. And, you know, they've hired a lot more people because they've grown so much. And now they've got people responding to text messages and whatnot. You know, I bugged them like once a week, like, hey, what stage is the chain in? I'm so excited. And they responded in kindness and like were very descriptive and on point and just really respectful. And when I called them, they were always very respectful. You know, they got your order number right away and check you and give you the answer you need. Um, you know, there wasn't any rudeness or irritability, none of that. Because if you think about it, they're picking up the phone every day, all day long and responding to emails with the same questions. How much is this? How much is that? You know, or people who end up not buying and then also people who, who just want to check on their orders. You know, where's my order at? Like they're so patient and I just, that I truly believe though they care about their customers and you know, seeing them, you know, so involved on YouTube too, is really awesome. So, I mean, that, that's just, I really respect that. And, you know, the craftsmanship is out of the park, you know, I would argue that they're probably one of the best Miami Cuban makers out there. I don't know for sure. Cause I haven't owned any other Miami Cuban links from anyone else handmade. I know there's CMG, uh, Leary's and all that kind of stuff, Las Villas. Um, but yeah, I think I bought my first Miami Cuban from Saraf and it was terrible, sent it back. And then I went with Daniels and I don't regret it. They're incredible, incredible. Um, just the craftsmanship is just something else. Um, it's worth the wait. You know, this took six weeks and, uh, it was totally, it's totally worth it. I know you get excited, but just be patient. So Daniels was pretty honest about saying, don't do 24 karat sleek lock, or we highly, no, not don't do it. We highly don't recommend that because we've had some issues with 24 karat sleek lock. You can do it if you want. Just know that it's not going to hold the tension, um, that you think, or it's not going to have that when it snaps shut, makes that noise, stuff like that. They were completely honest and straightforward with me. And I really like that transparency. Um, because I know if I decide to buy at that moment, that it's not my, it's, it's on me. It's my liability. If I decide to get something that they say they're completely transparent about, you know, and I did, and I don't regret it. It's fantastic. I love the sleek lock. It doesn't pop open. Haven't had any problems with that. Um, now I will say the craftsmanship is different from the 10 carat. So 10 carats a lot stronger because of the alloys. I don't know what alloys they used, but you know, I'm sure nickel, copper, stuff like that. And, uh, so it's got more tensile strength and it's just probably going to be easier to craft with because it's a stronger metal. Now 24 karat goes so soft when you make something so like really kind of complicated, like a sleek lock and you put a lot of time into it. It's, it's, it's tough because gold scratches so easily, 24 karat. And, um, you know, when you're trying to form it and all that, it's just, it's, it's probably a challenge. And honestly, I do see a craftsmanship on 10 karat a lot better because it's probably easier to work with, but still this 24 karat sleek lock looks incredible. I'm very pleased. It's holding up great. And I love the transparency. And I know there is a possibility that, you know, six months from now, a year from now, I'm gonna have to send it in to get a new one because it loses that strength over time. Now, I have not taken this off since I put it on my neck and I plan to keep it that way because I don't wanna keep opening the lock and closing it uh, to kind of lose that tension. So this is like every day, every night, everywhere wear. I probably wouldn't wear it in the ocean and that's about it. But even then I would, this chain is so heavy. If it comes off, you know immediately. Like 142 grams, you know it's on your neck. But it's not uncomfortable. Like I've been sleeping on, I've, I don't take it off. It's comfortable. It becomes a part of you like a tattoo, you know? I don't know how to explain it. So yeah, 100% love the transparency. I'm, you know, I really love the style of their links. They've got more of a flatter look and like the way they file it is different. I don't like that bubble look, that bubble like, look that some Cubans have. It's just my type. Everyone's got like a type on their jewelry. That's, that's my type, you know, sounds a little weird, but whatever. Anyway, it's, it's great. And I'll probably do a six months update on how the chain's holding up. Uh, don't regret upgrading man. Cause I absolutely love 24 karat, no scratches, nothing like that. No issues. Looks great. Um, but I don't really like mess with it other than just wear it, you know? And, uh, 
Yeah, if you guys have any comments that I haven't answered in this video, you can put it below and I'll try to answer. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. Feel free to like this video and subscribe um, because I'll be putting some update videos and things like that. And uh, thank you, Daniel Jewelry. Um, you know, you did an awesome piece and I feel like their price is right, you know. I don't feel like their premiums are too crazy. Maybe higher than some, lower than some. They're kind of like that middle ground, you know. But for a handmade piece, I feel like they're pretty good. And uh, thank y'all so much uh, for watching. And I hope y'all have a good one. Cheers.